Hi, today in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about why people shoot the messenger and how you can navigate that journey when you're that person who has delivered the information and someone is attacking you. Now, I know I've been there many times when people shoot the messenger, it is simply because they are acting out the way that they are feeling inside. Now, it's not easy sometimes when you have information or you have things that you're wanting to say and tell somebody, it is very hard to put that out there and let that person know. Because nine times out of 10, they will shoot the messenger. And I'm sure we've all experienced that in our life's journey. But you have to kind of weigh up the pros and cons. Like, if I tell them this information, what is going to be the outcome? So you have to also look at the um, scenarios in a really logical perspective because it can end up um, ending friendships. It can end up with people not talking to you. It can end up with you being attacked and people doing things in order to hurt you as well. That is an automatic thing. People will rise up into their pain body and their pain body will want to vent that anger or hurt or pains onto you. So when you are wanting to let somebody know information or deliver a message to someone that you think it is important that they're aware of, you have to be very aware of the consequences. Now it is a choice. You either stay bottled up and keep those things inside of you or you be very brave and you put those out there. I personally believe in those scenarios that I have to speak my truth and that I usually get to the point where if something's making me uncomfortable, then I have to deal with it. It's not something for me to have to handle. It's somebody else's um, journey. So I have to actually let go of that and try and detach. So as much as you may not want to say something, you've also got to be true to your own beliefs and what you feel is right in the situation. And I guess that comes back to listening to your gut feelings. Do I tell this person or don't I tell this person? Um, obviously, we always have their best interests at heart and that can be hard if you've sort of protected somebody for many years. That's not easy sometimes to just let that information flow out of you because we all know that heaviness and that burden and the consequences can be quite dire. You may, like I said, lose friendships. You can lose people from your life. People can just go into disbelief and presume that you're lying. So it is very tricky and this is why people shoot the messenger because it means it has triggered something in them that they don't want to face and that they don't want to hear. So yes, it is very challenging when people are shooting the messenger. You have to find ways to detach. You have to remove yourself from the situation and see things from a very, very clear perspective. There's no point getting caught up in all the drama and the blame game. Um, sometimes you're not even involved, but people can actually make you a real part of their um, destruction in the way that they're feeling. So be very, very careful when you are going to put information out there or you're going to let people know, just be aware that people will shoot the messenger. It's proven time and time and again. So you either end up um, learning to keep that information to yourself or you put it out there and you have to face what's about to happen because nine times out of 10, it will be quite ugly and that person is not gonna take the information perhaps very well and they will blame you because you're that pivotal person that's delivered it to them. Even if they know it's true and it's a fact and they can actually confirm it, you are still gonna be that person in their life that gave them that information. So they will harbor resentment and anger and some of these things and they will try to project them onto you. And that is why people shoot the messenger. So look, I believe that you have to be really true to yourself and sometimes carrying those burdens and knowledge and things that we know can be just too much to handle and we can all get to kind of that breaking point where we have to kind of let that information go and I don't think there's anything wrong with being really honest <clears throat> and being true to what you stand for. So I guess at the end of the day, you've got to be the one that's going to make that decision but it's very important to sort of go through those scenarios in your head because you may lose people, you may lose friendships, um, other things can come out as well. It can get quite ugly, so you have to be kind of ready to ride that storm because I think after anything's disclosed or any information can kind of be put out there, I think there's usually a storm to follow, but then there's always the calm after the storm as well. So look, um, that's why people attack us when we do um, give them information that they don't want to hear. 
they will shoot the messenger and that's just how life is. I don't know why people react like that. It's like an automatic defense mechanism that they feel they have to defend themselves, even if you're a completely innocent party. So it's just something to really be aware of when you are gonna divulge information or let people know some truths um, that there can be consequences. But if you're ready to deal with that and you feel like you're strong enough, then absolutely go for it. But certainly I would be doing weighing things up. Are you willing to lose that friendship or lose that person in your life? or make changes because you've got to also look at further down the track. Yes, things will probably subside in time, but things may never be the same. So just like I said, it's not easy. Um, just stay true to yourself and do what you believe is the right thing to do. So really listen to that gut. So thanks for watching today. Um, that's just a little bit about what to do when people are angry at you or hurt because of something you said they do shoot the messenger, so it's just something to be really aware of. And also, like I said, just detach and learn to just be really present. You don't have to rise up with them as well. You can actually stay in a calmer state and allow them to rise up because that's fine. That's an automatic response that, that will happen. Like I said, nine times out of 10, that'll happen. And eventually they'll subside and start to th see things from a different perspective. But you've also got to protect yourself in that situation. And maybe that means you have to kind of pull away and you have to detach a lot from the situation, especially if it's not to do with you. So hit that sub um, like button, subscribe to my channel, of course. That would be great. I love to hear some feedback from you guys if these videos are helping you at all. And I will see you in that next video. Bye.